everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great week and you guys, it is October here. It is starting to get freezing cold. We've actually started having fires in my home and the furnace, not like home fires. <laughs> Let me kind of like edit that, but um, yeah, oh my gosh. So we are getting into sweater weather. I can finally burn all of my foodie kind of smells, you know, from Bath and Body Works. I'm like hauling all of those spicy candles out, my leaves, and all of like my caramel apple. Oh my God, <laughs> it smells great in here right now. I've been like cleaning all day, oh my gosh. Speaking of cleaning, I'm like, what am I gonna talk about? And I feel like one of the perfect topics that we can discuss today is the weird side of YouTube. I'm like, okay, I kind of am starting to get a little bit bored of just like doing all of these voiceovers and only talking about the build. We definitely will be discussing what's going on in the build, but I'm like, a lot of you guys have been asking for just like to learn more about me, asking me different questions, and I'm like, I think this would be really awesome if you guys had different questions that were random. I mean, even would you rather questions, question about me, my life that you guys want to know about. I feel like it would just be a lot of fun to start discussing that in my speed builds because I do watch a lot of like beauty channels and um, like lifestyle videos. And I love when they do like the um, Q&A videos or like get to know me videos. And I'm like... How the heck are you supposed to do that on a Sims channel? <laughs> because you can't, like, it would be so weird if I just posted a video that was like, get to know me, tag, and then it's just like me. I feel like nobody would watch that, but I feel like it would be a lot of fun to do, like, different topics on some of my builds, and you guys might be like, what are you on? What are you going on about? <laughs> what the heck is happening? But I feel like that would just be so much fun to do, and it would just give me a little bit more of like a discussion to have with you all because you guys know I read every single comment. I always try to heart the comments. Even if I don't reply, like sometimes I do get a lot of comments that kind of say a lot of the same thing and I don't like, you know, replying with like, thank you to everyone because I feel like a lot of you guys might think like, oh, she, she writes that to everybody. <laughs> but I do definitely read them all and I always heart your guys' comments just so you know. Even if it is like a not so nice comment, I'm like, I see you, I read that. But um, yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun to kind of hang out in the comments and that's kind of what I have been doing generally. Like as soon as I post a video, usually for like the first hour, I'll be like in the comments, making sure that you guys like it, making sure that the video actually went up properly <laughs> because there was this one instance before where I actually thought everything was fine, put up a video and there was like no music in like a part of the video which was absolutely embarrassing but that actually happened a couple of videos ago that I forgot to put in the intro music. And I think it's just the way that I edit, I keep going back and forth and sometimes I usually don't watch the intros because I'm like, I've seen it a million times, but um, I also do have a couple of like editing tutorials that I do plan on doing as well. So speaking of that, like if there are any different tutorials on editing that you guys see me do and maybe you guys want to know how I do that. I definitely feel like that would be a lot of fun. I am planning on pre-recording a little bit more for um, the next couple of weeks. I do like have a trip coming up, so I'm like, I think that would be so much fun to do. Just to kind of like, I know that a lot of you guys maybe are watching and you're either like just starting or you don't even know how the heck to even get started. I feel like that would be like a lot of fun and maybe some of you guys could learn from it. Now, I actually started on a laptop and I use the iMovie program. Like when I first started YouTube and I'm like, that was so user friendly, it was so easy. But there really wasn't that much to like customize your channel. Like there really wasn't that much for like transitions, like for fading into different scenes. And um, a lot of my videos were really simple. I mean, they are now, but the editor that I use does have a lot of cute options. And it definitely reminds me of like an iMovie kind of setup, but like a little bit better. And um, it's not free <laughs> like iMovie was, but um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna do that for the next couple of weeks. I don't know when, but it'll probably be up like within this month, I picture it being. 
So um, yeah, if there are any different ideas that you guys would like to see me do on tutorials that aren't even just all about building, I would love to hear about them. There also are a few other like building and how-to tutorials that I plan on doing and oh my god, you guys, I'm still obsessed with the glass roofing. <laughs> In the game, I did try to do a bunch of home builds that did not have that. I couldn't do it like I tried and I did do a few but like I had to purposely do it because I feel like whenever I have a roof that has a couple of sections with nothing on it I'm like glass you're getting glass glass is going here and there and I feel like my favorite ones are like I don't really like the one that is the plain glass because I feel like when you put it in it looks like there's a notch cut out of the roof so I do like the ones that have the it looks like iron like wrought iron or like metal strips in it, those are definitely my favorite. <laughs> this one is like little triangles and um, yeah, so I hope you guys are proud of me. I actually used the siding that was not seasoned and in case you guys didn't notice, at the very beginning I ended up using seasons and I'm like, oh, no, you can't. <laughs> you use that way too many times, but I did end up using the Jungle Adventure it's like plaster with like the chunky rocks along the bottom. That is like one of my other favorites. And then I do use the bowling stuff siding. That's actually one of my favorites or it used to be. I haven't really used it too much, but that one I used to use all the time. I feel like it just looks so cute and cozy. And it did, I remember when we did get that, I was like, oh my gosh, this has so much detail in it. So I do need to start pulling that out a little bit more. And same with the one that came with fitness, the one that's like the longer slats of brick. That one is so pretty. It is like so sleek and classic that, um, yeah, I've kind of been trying to pull out like different building items that I usually don't use just because sometimes I'll like use something that I've completely forgotten about because I'm like obsessed with something else that's like new in the game <laughs> and I'm like oh my god I completely forgot how much I love this but um yeah I, I definitely need to start doing that I do talk about it a lot about how I do get set you know I kind of just get set in my ways of using my favorites which you guys know but I am trying <laughs> I'm trying that's all I can do I can't make any promises but like I said I have talked about it before doing the items I never use challenge so that's going to be in one of my videos that I am going to be working on next week. And I do have so much awesome stuff that is coming out. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that. I also do have like four more builds <laughs> that I have to edit. So hopefully you guys are not like sick and tired of all of my rambling. And that's kind of another reason that I am looking for just different things that you guys want me to discuss because I do have so much of these builds that I'm gonna have to um, do voiceovers for and I'm like we need to have discussions we need to be able to talk I'm sure there are things you guys want to ask me whether it comes to like YouTube starting a channel or anything like that but when it comes to like starting a channel my main thing that I tell everybody do not start YouTube being like I want to do YouTube because I want to make money like do not have that mindset like that's the biggest thing that I could say and I know that it can be hard for some people because you're like you know if I'm gonna put that much time and effort into a channel I best be freaking getting my money back in like the time that I put in but I feel like if you do it that way you're really not gonna enjoy it and I mean it's YouTube and it's 2018 so even you know it's it's you're, it's very rare that you're really gonna you know get a full-time income <laughs> from doing YouTube and that's kind of why I'm always like YouTube is not my job it is completely what I enjoy and I feel like that is just how you have to start YouTube you have to get into it because it is something you enjoy doing and if you go back and you watch some of my early videos they are like top-notch cringe I definitely do not recommend anybody watching them I'm completely embarrassed by them but one of the things that I can say is I've just always enjoyed it. Like I've always enjoyed doing YouTube. I loved every single one of those videos I posted. If I go back like a year and a half when I even like started YouTube, that was like I had just literally downloaded Sims 4 the day that I started my channel. And I was like, I was having the time of my life and I was just posting all the time. I couldn't wait for those like 
three to six views that I was getting because that is three to six people that sat down and watched you play The Sims. Like how freaking cool is that? And I feel like if you want to start a channel, consistency is definitely key to having people come back. Um, even like just think about um, yourself, like when you watch videos, if you had a channel, because I know there are channels that I watch that are like, for example, lifestyle, and they will take like three months hiatus, which is fine, that's completely up to them, but in the meantime, I might have found like a better channel that I enjoy the post regularly, and I feel like because you sit down and you just kind of like, you, even if you're just like listening to them talk like you guys are with me, or if you are watching a video where it's like family vloggers, like you kind of feel like you do get to know, you know, the creators and you do kind of expect or you are excited to like hear from them. And I do feel like posting regularly is definitely key to growing a channel because people are going to want to expect a video from you, to hear from you, and just to kind of, you know, if you're obsessed with The Sims like I am, you're going to want to see regular content. So I don't know, I feel like it would be a lot of fun to sit down and maybe like have a discussion about starting YouTube. I mean, I did start really, really, really <laughs> late. And I've even considered, um, maybe for like one of my milestones, I know that I have talked about this, but I actually didn't start YouTube as like a simmer. Like I had started, I tried to start, if you guys know anything about me, I'm actually not like beauty. <laughs> like beauty is not like where it's at for me. And for some reason, I thought it would be fun to do a beauty channel. So that's actually why I started YouTube originally. And I felt like I had to spend so much money because I was like, I have to review this and I have to unbox that. And then I ended up just getting bored and tired of it because I wasn't really doing it because I loved like spending all of that money that I really shouldn't have and that I didn't have. And um, I got tired of it and I just stopped my channel. And then it was like a couple of years later that I actually found Urban Sims and it wasn't from The Sims. <laughs> Surprisingly, I actually found one of Jen's videos, which is so freaking cool that I've actually been able to meet her, and I do consider her a friend now. So that's like one of the coolest things ever, but um, yeah, so I actually found her through a City Skylines video, and it was just like a random recommended video. I have no idea how I even found it. It might have even been because I used to watch um, Marzia a lot, PewDiePie's girlfriend. I used to watch her and I don't know if like a gaming video was recommended because I was on her channel and then from there I was like obsessed with City Skylines. I suck at the game, I, I like bankrupt my town, whatever. But I ended up seeing that Sims 4 was a thing and it was just like right from there I was like, <gasps> I need to play this every day for the rest of my life <laughs> and that's just kind of like how it started for me and my channel and I can't really see myself stopping anytime soon like I already have plans for my channel for next year like I my excitement has never gone away the only thing that ever happens if you post regularly is if you do the same thing for every video <laughs> that you tend to get burnt out and that's kind of like why through the summer I ended up doing like a lot of let's plays on my channel because I was like, okay, I just, I need to take a break because honestly, you guys, I freaking love to build in The Sims. Like that is my number one favorite thing to do in the game. So I didn't really want to burn myself out of it because I enjoy it so much that I really didn't want to lose that excitement of building. So I did take a break over the summer and we did get into doing like a lot more challenges, create a sims, and um, like different let's plays. I started the seven toddler challenge, which I really do love doing that. I think I only have like an episode left of that one there, but it's definitely good to, even if you still want to be consistent, switch up what you are doing so that you're not getting like bored of it. If you still enjoy it, if any of that makes sense, I feel like I'm just rambling. <laughs> at this point but I don't know maybe I said some stuff you guys don't agree with but I felt like it was just a lot of fun to sit down and kind of have a little bit of a brief conversation just about my thoughts on YouTube and starting YouTube 
And if you guys want to hear different ideas on like getting started, different programs to use and all of that stuff, because it can be kind of hard for me to like sit down with you guys and have that conversation in like a hundred baby. <laughs> like it just can't happen. But anyways, we are going to quickly talk about the build. And um, I love how this one turned out. It's actually a little bungalow. It is not a two level. You guys know whenever I do these bungalows, I do always like to add in like a lot of the like roofing decor, not decor, the roofing kind of like build where it kind of looks like it's possible there is an upstairs, but there's really not. And um, this, how many bedrooms was this? I can't remember, but it's definitely fit for a family. I think it might be a three bedroom. And I did have a little bit of extra space out in the garage and I'm like, what am I going to put out there? But if you do have a sim that likes to exercise or do a little bit of woodworking, I wanted to make sure that there was just kind of like a little bit of an extra space for hobbies and skills. So if you even wanted to put in like a gaming area or even um, like DJ stuff, I feel like this is the perfect spot for it because it's not really any part of the home or anything like that. It's just kind of like its own space out here. So it's like just all random stuff. And if you did want to have like the laundry room and you didn't want it to be in your home, you could put it out here. I mean, I do remember some of my friends did have their like washer and dryer out in the building, even as annoying. <laughs> I feel like that would be like so annoying to do, but this home is gonna be in the gallery. So if you guys do like how it turned out and you do wanna add it into your game, just look under my username, Kristen Reacts. Oh, you guys will find it. Put on your move objects and make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up. It always lets me know that you guys did enjoy and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose I'm tired of waiting, gonna make that move All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you To write our story, wanna shape the